What is that thing? Oh, this is a brain fitness trainer. It's supposed to be way better than the Nintendo DS. And what happens is you put it on, and then it flashes these words and numbers, and then you try to memorize them. And why are you doing that? Well, isn't there research that shows that brain training actually helps you stave off dementia and Alzheimer's? Yeah, I'm not really sure that was the best way you could have spent your money. I just read a new study that reviewed a bunch of brain training strategies, and it didn't find much evidence that they help people avoid mental decline as they age. Oh, you're kidding. You mean I shouldn't try training my brain? No, I didn't say that. Exercising your brain is important, but the point of this study is that there doesn't really seem to be a particular benefit to using specialized brain training products or exercises. Instead, you can engage your brain in all sorts of ways that won't cost you extra money or make you look goofy. Okay, sounds good. Like what? Well, first off, you can be intellectually active in ways that you already enjoy. All you need are some activities that require intense thought and concentration that you can do for 20 to 30 minutes several times a week. Things like reading a novel, playing chess, doing a crossword puzzle. Wow, that sounds great. You know, I have been meaning to finish this excellent romance novel. Okay. Well, make sure that you also spend time with friends and family. Research shows that as people get older, those who are part of social networks tend to have the least decline in memory. Using your brain in a social setting seems to give it a really good workout. You know, that's really great because I've been thinking about going to the Star Trek convention this weekend and a bunch of my friends have been reaching out and saying that it'll be a great time. Okay, and here's a third strategy. Keep learning new skills. In a German study, researchers taught a group of volunteers how to juggle. Even though these folks were over the age of 50, their brains responded to the learning process in a way that resembled those of 20-year-olds. That's really great because I've been brushing up a little bit on my Klingon for the Star Trek convention. Kapla! I don't know what that means, but for more news and information about healthy living on a healthy planet, go to Rodale.com. Kapla!